Hi everybody. Welcome to um, now the second edition of a normal Monday stream. We just finished the scavenger hunt second giveaway and we're going to move on to some art now. Um, this is taped live over at Ustream TV and I am talking to a live audience. So hi Ange. Hey Jeannie. So um, in the Artful Evidence Weekly Prompt Challenge, this week's prompt was a mask. I did not have any masks. Um, okay, I'll do that. Um, so I made some. And before I start doing that, I want to announce that um, Ange is hosting another ATC swap. Um, the theme will be spring and she needs more people. It, the um, ATCs will be due May 30th. You can email Ange at Gingella, which is G-I-N-J-E-L-A-1 at gmail.com. So yeah, if you if you want to do a spring theme ATC swap, and an ATC swap is a two and a half inch across. I'll show you one of mine. Um, two and a half across, three and a half inch this way. Um, she won't have a final quantity, I guess, until you, she knows how many people are in the swap. But um, and the theme is spring, and you can use any medium you want. Um, don't worry about if you feel like your art is good enough, whatever. Just participate. It's so much fun to get a package of other people's art back in the mail. Um, I think we're all supportive of one another and each person's level of ability. So it's a great way to see other people's art. and It's just so much fun. Oh, Jillian, I'm sorry. Hi, you did not win. Text Judy won the scavenger hunt journal. Um, and there was somebody else that came in that I wanted to say hi. Hi, Joy and Art. So, yeah. So, anyway, what I was saying before Ange so rudely interrupted me to make an announcement. <laughs> it's okay, Ange. It's cool. Don't, don't text me. Um... I didn't have any masks, so um, I love circles. So I went ahead and cut out circles of all different sizes. So I'm going to, and I'm sure Eileen is going to help me get through this process. I'd like to do two pieces of art today, so I have to move out. Uh, you like move? I don't got time. So yesterday, I don't know where I put it now. I may just learn to keep my mouth shut. Um, I played with these circles and used them as masks. So, and I don't know where, oh, here it is. Um, so I want to do something like this. And I don't know if I want to leave the background white, but I really like this. And then this was one of all different colors. Um, this one, I did like the squares in the background. And then my favorite color combination, green, blue, and purple. Um, so I kind of settled on um, kind of the red or the yellow, orange, red. But I thought, I like it on the white background. You guys can tell me this. Um, do you like the white background or should I, I thought I could use some dilution sprays and spray the back yellow. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think. But I'm kind of liking the, the white background and then I'll figure out a quote or something to put on top of it. Or you guys can help me go through the whole process. So I like the one with the grid background too. Only I want to do it more, maybe monochromatic. Um, this just seems too busy because, but I, I am going to do, I think, the grid background. I really do. You die cut a housecape on making film to use. Oh, that sounds cool. Masking film, I knew what you meant. Anyway, 
but I just can't decide. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave it white rather than do the yellow background. So yellow can be one of my circles. That's what I'm thinking. So I will start. Um, I'm going to... Um, I actually have a quote in my head. The white background, okay, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Okay, that's all junk. So here we go. This is one of the um, Strathmore 6x6 um, six six, um, papers that I got for cheap at Hobby Lobby in the halls. Um, and I'm going to do the grid in red on the background. I hardly ever use red, you guys, hardly ever. But I don't know why that red yellow, orange, pink, kind of, um, I don't know, it, it's just a good way to use colors that I never use. You like the white, but it doesn't look like mass to me. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> it doesn't look like masks. What do you mean that doesn't look like masks? Of course that's masks. Hi, Julio. All right. I hope I clean this stamp. Anyway, let me get a sheet out to over stamp on so I don't have a mess underneath. It looks like stamps. Well, it's not. It's actually a mask of a circle. So here we go. I'm prepared to start making a mess. And I actually did the background just like this, using stamps. I hope I can see OK to do this. Ustream is very messed up. And I'm not going to worry about whether or not this grid background is perfect because the, I hope there'll be so much going on on top of it that you won't notice that there might be overlap or that it's crooked or whatever. And this stamp is one of those ones that we got. Yeah, see, I've got the edges are icky, but that's okay. Um, at Michael's, when they um, added that new journaling section, this was one of the ones we got like early on really, really cheap. So I like it. It's a cool looking little stamp. I think I, did I send this to um, Jeannie and Eileen? It seems like maybe I did. No, a mask masks were used to different colors in multi-layer background no the mask is just this you know the stencil is the cut out of this the mask is just this little deal kind of like if you um, I gotta pull this closer so I can see um, tell me if I'm wrong you guys maybe I'm not getting it but the mask is um, yeah like if you're stamping say <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what Eileen is not getting about a mask a mask is just the cut out portion of a stencil right this, I love this stamp. Um, here's the whole set. It came at Michael's, and it's a lot more expensive now than what I paid for it. But you got all these kind of journaling stamps in this, and the little pocket folder for a traveler's notebook. Yeah, I like this stamp a lot. So. All right, CB, tell me if I'm wrong here
but this is the actual mask, whether it's covering up or whatever. Use green. All right, hang on. Use green, then a mask, then an orange, then a mask, then a blue. Oh, no, I don't think that's necessary. To have colors underneath that you're blocking out. I mean, because when I add the colors on top, I'm masking and blocking out the colors underneath. And Dorothy's saying I'm right, so I'm going with Dorothy this time. I have some stencils that also include a cat. Yeah, see, I know you can get them. I just don't have any masks. I just don't have any. Now, I used to cut a lot of masks when I wanted to, um, say I had stamped an image and I wanted to color around it and I didn't want the, um, whatever I stamped on top to get on my previous image, then I would create a mask of that. Um, but yeah. All right. So, um, I don't know if I want to start with the, I think I'll start with the lightest color and work out to the darkest color. Okay. CB says we're both right. I'm using a mask. All right. So I'm going to start with um, yellow and you guys I don't want this crap all over my hands my hands are such a mess already I'm gonna try and use a glove I don't know um, yeah I don't know <laughs> but I'm gonna start with the smallest this will be the smallest circle I use so the bulk of the page will end up being yellow anyway and I don't know, I have different stamp pads out here. I got a bunch of these little Dewdrop Memento. Um, they are waterproof. And I also have the archival ink pads. So I think I like the Memento because it's uh, that's what this page was. It was just a little test of the different yellows that I had. I think this one's a little bit brighter, so I'm going to use it. With a little finger dauber dude. How about that? So, and I suppose you could use um, a lot of different products. Um, to ink around the edge of your mask. Um, I just thought the ink pads would be coolest and they're going to be transparent so you'll be able to see and the colors as I'm laying them down should be mixing right but I'm staying all in the same kind of color family so I don't want to obliterate the white completely but the Wendy Vecchi colors are awesome I have not seen them and I'm telling you, I don't need any more stuff. I got tons of stuff to play with right now. I don't need more stuff. This little one's kind of a pain. It's a whole lot easier when I get to the bigger ones. And then I'll just add a quote or something, or I could add you know, a character or, you know, after I get this portion of it done, I can pretty much do whatever I want because this is the background, right? And then Elaine and, Elaine, I'm sorry, Eileen. Eileen and I decided we wanted to do multiples a week, which that was brilliant of me given that I'm going to Australia for three weeks and I'll be so far behind when I get home anyway. Um... If I get this one done early, I'm going to go ahead and do the Eileen Janet challenge, which Eileen figured out this week she wanted to use modeling paste. So I kind of have an idea for that. Um, and we'll see if I can get that done. And I'm pretty well um, 
prepared. I, I have not put anything in a suitcase yet. Um, but I've got everything laid out on the bed, ready to go. All I have to do now is get the suitcases up, and I'm sure they're going to be dusty and nasty from being downstairs in storage for so long. So I have to clean them up. Um, <clears throat> and shove all my stuff in, but I, you know, I'm, I, I don't have that much left to do, which makes me nervous because I feel like there's stuff I should be doing. And there's no point in cleaning because the rat's going to pig it out while I'm gone. Do some Aussie quotes. Well, I'm going to try, you know, but it depends on what we want to do while we're there. I mean, I'm assuming we might get a little bit of time in the evenings or whatever to art. Not that I'm taking that much stuff. But yeah, I will definitely pay attention to the Aussie quotes because Aussies are funny people. Haha, <laughs> funny, not funny cuckoo. Well, they might be funny cuckoo too, but yeah, I perceive them as people with great sense of humor and I'm so excited. And CB, I did get a check in the mail to you. So look for an envelope on its way. I just decided since you suggested that and you didn't care, I'd just go ahead and do that. So it's on its way. I, no, I'm not taking a lot of art supplies, Suzanne. I don't know exactly what I'm taking, honestly. Um, I haven't decided. I thought I would take um, either a set of the um, Jane Davenport watercolors or the um, Prima. The Prima Classics are pretty good because they have all the colors that you could need to mix other colors so I was thinking well I might just take them and then um, shove as many of the little pans in as I can but if I have white paper and a black pen I can zentangle I mean I can keep myself busy and I've been thinking about what kind of book I am going to take one book art book because the worst thing for me, I mean, I'm going to miss Robert and the cat. Don't get me wrong, okay? Don't be just like having a cow. Um, but honestly, I told Robert the other day, the thing that bothers me the most is leaving my stuff. I don't want to leave my stuff. So, yeah, I have to be selective about what I want to take. But I thought a watercolor is probably what I'm going to take. And then I did that travel watercolor with the um, Peerless and um, the DeWent ink tents. So, you know, I should have plenty of water soluble products. And then I'm going to take um, some Micron pens. Um, and really, if, if I can't create art with that, then there's something wrong with me, right? Alright, and then the next color is an orange. Let me see, I have the Memento Orange. Um, let me look. Because I have... Um, I don't really want to use um, chalk ink pads, but I have the wild honey. Let me see what color the wild honey is. Because I could do lots of different sizes. Let me see here. It looks a little bit darker. I don't know. I could maybe go back and add that later. I don't think I'm going to put anything wet on top of this, but the distress are not permanent, so maybe I should stick with permanent. Oh, and this is another little thing that I just, those containers that I got from Wish, I shoved the makeup brush in there, and they make good daubers. So, 
take an empty bag to Jen's and borrow some of her supplies. Well, we're going to be at Jen's, so um, you're going to miss the cat. That's a shock, I think, on Lion Suzanne. <laughs> is the beast coming? No, the beast is staying at home. It's just too big and bulky. But I have a, a similar version of the beast that I'll show here in a little while. I think I'm going to go direct to orange. Um, but yeah, no, the beast is next size up is this. The beast is staying at home, believe it or not. Maybe I'll use this one just because I want to. And the camera is right in my face. I'm going to do like a, a travel log journal kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan. But the beast is staying home. For those 20 days, it's just going to be a big f fat void. Have you seen Oakley's? I have not seen Oakley's video. I love Oakley's videos, though, I have to say. Oakley is one of our friends. She got a new puppy, Patty Tolly Parish. She's a great artist. If you're watching on YouTube and you're not familiar with her, go check her out because she's awesome. Um... The Beast is a journal that I keep, Joy. Well, actually, the Beast is right here, so I'll show you what the Beast is. I'll just flip through it real, real quick. I'm not going to do a, a real flip through, but it's a McGill Ruiz journal. Um, I don't know, maybe, what size is it? Eight inches this way five and three quarters this way and it's just like a a journal where I have a to-do list, I art in here, I do samples in here, I do everything in the beast. So this is the beast. I'm going to miss the beast. The beast is going to be hard to leave at home but yeah, the beast is not going. Yeah, it's just my book. It's my life book. It's everything in one place book. Now, actually, here's my Australia list. My Australia list is in the Beast. I started it at the end of February. So there's my list, and there's my calendars for the, the trip. And then, of course, now that I'm back in here, I have different things every day that I might be doing um, to get ready for the trip. But that's, that's the Beast. And I touch and look at and mess with the beast every day of my life. Yeah, I could do pages to tip into the beast. And you never know, I might. The whole journal that I take to Australia may end up um, as tip-ins for the beast. You never know. But the beast is more my, um, my bullet journal kind of um, thing. And I won't have... You know, like, to-do lists while I'm in Australia. Well, maybe at Jen's house, she might give me a list of chores. Hell, I don't know. She's certainly welcome to because she's being so kind to let me stay there. Thanks, Joy. Um, I do have an ISBN. I can get it for you, Linda. Um, let me write that on the note that I wrote. About Janice, you want an ISBN for the McGill Ruiz? I can get that to you. Um, do you follow me on Twitter? I'm. I might have one upstairs in its original packaging. Barnes and Noble has no idea what you. That's crazy as heck. 
because I get mine at Barnes and Nobles and they're ten bucks. If you order them on Amazon, they're quite a bit more. They're like twenty bucks. But I will put the ISBN. I think we do follow each other on Twitter, Linda. I'm almost certain that we do. Um, but if not, you've got my email, I'm sure. You can also always email me and remind me as well. Or, um, I was going to say, if Jennifer Krakalakin is here, she can get you that link in about two seconds flat. Because she is a link freak. But yeah, no, I'm taking real basic art supplies with me. I really am. Um, nothing special at all. Some drawing pencils and basic pens, and that's it. Not even colored pens. Unless I go crazy here when I'm packing or end up with extra room, which I do not expect to happen. But I, I agree, CB, that the chances of me being able to shove everything into that one suitcase is probably not going to happen. I was going to try and take just one because everywhere we go, of course, we have to be hauling our luggage, right? And the idea of that just about grosses me out. But whatever. All right, I'm going to move on to the pink. I can always come back and add more later. Um, you've been to two Barnes and Nobles and no luck. Well, I hope they haven't quit um, carrying them because um, I know they are hard to find, though. Like, as soon as they come in, they were snatched up. And last time I bought one, I took it up to the counter at Barnes and Noble, and the kid that was behind the counter, he was so cute, he said, man, this is nice. I said, there's like one left. You better go buy it. <laughs> so, and I don't know if I want to go to that size. I think I want to go to the big. I'm going to jump right to the big one. And if I don't like this, I'll start over from scratch, you guys. Because sometimes a plan, if it doesn't work out, just doesn't work out. Actually, when I'm done here, it doesn't look like there's going to be a huge amount of white left. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, did Jeannie get it for you? Okay, Jeannie got it for you. Um, do they sell them for 10 bucks on the, the website, too? Of course, then you've got to pay shipping, because Barnes & Noble doesn't have sh free shipping as far as I know. I was going to try, and I, I'm still going to try, I ju I'm just not holding out a whole lot of hope that um, Friday before I get on the plane, of course I'm not, I wouldn't buy one, maybe when I get home and Robert picks me up, I'll go buy Barnes & Noble and maybe just buy every one they have. <laughs> but I'm, I was, I told him the other day, I would like to... Um, go to Barnes & Noble before I get on the plane and see if I can't find a Daphne's Diary um, magazine so that Xander and CB and I can share it and read it on the plane. Thank you, Diane. 
I'm so glad you're here. I haven't seen you in the longest time, Diane. But I guess, too, um, you know, because when I was thinking about how to come up with a mask, because I didn't have any. Um, man, you can make a mask of anything. You could do this with a square. You could do... Barnes has free shipping at 25 bucks. Okay, well, that's not bad. Order a book and a couple journals, and you're, you're good to go. Because if you get one, I promise you, you're going to want two. <laughs> I don't think I'm so weird that way. And I love the graph paper in it. I will say that. It's not the best quality paper, you guys. Now, that's one thing for sure. I do use water-soluble products in mine. Um, and if I don't just absolutely saturate the paper, it stands up to a little bit of water. Um... But it does get crinkly. The crinkly does not bother me. Now, the crinkly might bother other people. But I love the way the crinkly sounds as I flip through the book. And the thicker it gets, the more I like it. So. And just think of all this ink that's not on my fingernail that I'm going to have to figure out how to get off. And I was thinking this morning, if there's anything I need from Amazon, I better get it ordered now. so I can get it by Thursday. Alright, there I've used my three colors. You saw a wedding edition of Daphne's Diary, but it was in a women's mag section. Yeah, I like the pinkles too. Okay. Um, I don't know where I saw the most recent Daphne's Diary one, but I like it. I I like Daphne's diary a lot. Now I'm just trying to decide if I want to leave it with that much white space. Do I want to go back in? I think I do want to go back in with the orange right in here. I think I'm missing something in there. So So how many of you guys are doing Rach's um, Artful Evidence prompts? I'm having a kick with them. I'm loving them. Enjoying them a lot, a lot, a lot. And anybody is welcome to participate with Eileen and I, too. Um, I don't think we're going to have a place where the the prompts are um, posted um, and the artwork I mean I'll just go ahead and post it on Twitter kinda want some more yellow in here too I think I think I think It is amazing to see all the different artwork, and I mean, people are just so inventive and talented. It, I've enjoyed so much seeing everybody's art. I really, I really, really have. And I haven't looked, um, because I hadn't done my mask one yet, I pretty much, I try and stay off of Facebook until I get mine done. Um... Because I don't want to be influenced by other people's art, right? I want to figure out my own first so I haven't gone out there and I definitely don't look at the albums until after mine is done
But yeah, the artwork over there, even if you're not going to do the prompts, go look at the artwork. You won't be sorry. You really won't. This is a lot busier than the first one I did, which is okay. I like that. I don't mind it a bit. I'm going to do that big one again. Well, I've got, I don't know. I'm kind of liking that. I, I do like the white showing through a little bit. I really do. All right. Any suggestions for another layer or should I just, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges in red. And I don't know why, I never art in red. I really never do. But whatever I do, I don't really want to obliterate this design I've created now either. So like doing a stencil on top of it or a spray or something like that is not really an option. You do like the colors, Eileen? It's these are definitely different colors for me. I will say that. I I rarely work in reds, orange. Now I use yellow a lot, but I use yellow mostly with blue and green, believe it or not. What is that weird thing there? Oh, I know it's where I didn't have this stamp. No big deal. Did you do your modeling paste one yet, Eileen? I mean, are we just going to talk about it or are we really going to do it? Call it done? Yeah, I'm going to... I have to decide on a quote. And the quote I was thinking about that I made up. I mean, I just made it up. But there's a lot of circle quotes on the internet. And it's usually about your circle of friends or whatever. Life is full of circles. That one's not... Hi, Jennifer Krakalakin. Um, that one's not bad, but there was one. I'll tell you one that I originally thought of because I'm kind of irreverent and sarcastic and, um, yeah, which I'm sure doesn't surprise any of you. Um, hang on. Now, there is a regular quote that says, Life comes for full circle, which I like that one. Um, life is funny, it all has come full circle. And I believe that, that at some point, life, life does come full circle. But where's the one? Um, okay, this is the one I like. Fewer friends, less BS. Keep your circle small. Which, I like that one. Alright, I'll write that down. Fewer friends. less BS and I would use BS rather than spell it out um, keep your circle small but the one I thought of um, that kinda cracked me up with the squares in the background was when life hands you squares make circles so um, Sarcastic? <laughs> You're shocked, Ange? Well, get yourself unshocked, girl. You haven't done yours yet either? Okay, then I don't feel so bad. What goes around comes around. That's another good one. <laughs> but I don't know. I like when life gives you squares, make circles. Because that actually, I, I think, is true too you know like if you feel boxed in remember life goes on and on and on and on you just need to get in your routine but I've had no art to post lately 
I really haven't this last week. I did make the journal, you know, I finished the journal and then I made another journal. I'll show it real quick while we're thinking about the quote that we want to put on there because then I've got to figure out the lettering and everything too. Um, I'm pull out to show it. This is another woven journal that I, I made and it goofed up, you guys. I spent all day working on some stuff and when I went and put the matte medium on this one there was something white on here and I'm sure it was magical powders that just spread everywhere and it was like oh my god on this navy blue background this thing is ruined so I literally had to go and of course you're coloring on matte medium and you know what matte medium does to <laughs> pens anyway beside the point um, I went back in with a blue pen and darkened every one of these circles. Honest to God, you guys, I think this is the prettiest journal I've ever made. Too hip to be square. You know that song? Too hip? No, I don't. It's more for an artist making square circles. Yes. Yeah. Too hip to be square. When life hands you squares, make circles. I like when life hands you squares, make circles. So now I just have to figure out spacing and how I want to do it. Um, probably just thinking off the top of my head, and I honestly have not given this much thought. Because um, I've got a 6 by 6 inch square. Um... So probably when life gives you, and then in larger letter, squares make, and then in larger letter, circles again, right across the face of it. I've probably heard the song, I just can't think of it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So now I have to figure out all the lettering. How do I want to do the lettering? Is it hand lettering? Do I want to um, use lettering stamps? I've got tons of, of alphabet stamps. I really do. What? No ruler? <laughs> Whatever, Jeannie. <laughs> If you're going to start acting like Eileen, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my god, my hand is sweated and I can't get the glove off. You like it? So, I like it. I think it's pretty just the way it is. But I'm going to put stuff on top. Yeah. Hi, Mac. You are seriously sounding like Eileen. And the thing about using rubber stamps for the, um, the lettering is it's virtually impossible. Um, use cutout words. Do, it, do the words on another thing and paste it on there. I could do that. That would be easy because then if I need to center it or will the circle be unbroken. I love that gospel, that's for sure. All right, let me get, I wonder if I want to do it on like deli paper. So when I um, map medium on there, it's pretty translucent. Circle of life, yep, I like that one. There's a ton of good circle quotes. Um, let me get some deli paper out. I like doing the lettering on deli paper because um, it doesn't obliterate the design underneath. You're a big orange person. I'm an orange person when it comes to the Denver Broncos. You can't stand her nails. I love her nails. I think her nails are gorgeous. And I have every size... Um,
All right, I'm just thinking of something that if I justified left and did like when life gives you squares, make circles. But it almost would be kind of fun if I could do circles, write circles in a circle, you know. The wheels of the bus go round and round. There you go, Jeannie. <laughs> Nut. Yeah, I write different quotes around different circles. I don't want it too busy, though. I mean, I, I just... And actually, I'm going to do it this. I'm thinking justified left. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I had thought about that. And I had also thought, too, Kathy, that... Um, do different words in each of the large circles, not in the smaller ones, but in these large ones, you know, like inspirational words. But I get tired. I'm going to be real frank. And if you've done this or if you do this, don't get your feelings hurt or don't feel like I'm judging or anything like that. But these words like inspire and dream and live life, love, all that, I, I get a little tired of it. I mean, it, I think a lot of it's overused. So... I don't want mine to be that. Yeah, I, but I think her nails are gorgeous. Circle word in a circle. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. Let me let me test it real quick. Since I've got this circle. Well, and I I also have this that I could um, test on before I actually do it on the finished art. Let me see. Where is... Oh, I put those pens in my case already. All right, this is point eight. It should be good. Um, and I might have to get out my compass to do this, and poor Eileen, I'll probably have a fit and fall through it, but see, I don't think I can I mean, it would have to be a pretty darn small circle to make the word go all the way around Arches are good. Circles are hard. Oh, I forgot the S. Well, I could write a little bit of smaller. See, I can get circle around a circle twice if I use the small one. So, thinking, thinking, thinking. Bye, Happy Diane. I'm so glad you could make it for even a little while. Yeah, see, I quit trying on my nails. I used to do my nails and keep them pretty. These bad boys are getting all cut off before I go to Australia. I'm going to Australia with monkey hands. No, I wouldn't hate your ATCs, Ange, because it's your art. I mean, I really wouldn't. Don't think that at all. Um, I just think, you know, I don't know. I just think they're all over you. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, and now I'm trying to decide, do I want to use a stencil for the lettering? I like stencil lettering because it looks so finished. So, in the Beast, I think are some stencils. I love these little stencils. 
these are like almost the perfect size stencils. If you get much smaller th than this, um, yeah, I think I'll do upper and lower case when life gives you and do squares and all caps and I'm going to do it justified left because then I don't have to worry about um, centering and counting and all that crap. So I'm doing this the easy way because I really wouldn't mind getting two pieces of art done. Um, Eileen, close your eyes please. I got the ruler out. Got the ruler out. Alright, so I'm going to justify at and I don't want it to fall in one of those lines because then it's going to feel, if they're not straight, you're going to feel it. So let me find pica. Here's pica. Um, all right, I'll come in two picas or three picas. Yeah, come in three. All right. And I can erase whatever I've drawn on here. I know. Look it. Don't you love it? Love it. Love it. All right. My lettering is... I have to do this every time. It's three-eighths. I know it. But I have to double check. And I don't know why I'm like that. Okay. So, if I do the justified left... Do when life gives you... I think I'll do one, two, three, four. I'll need five... The center of this is three, and I'll do squares right in the center. And then the lettering is three eighths, so I just have to figure out my letting. Alright, I'll do that. I'll leave one eighth in between, right? One, two, three. Nope, I'll leave a quarter. One, two, three. All right, that should be okay. And it's going to be a little, I'm not centering the whole thing, but that's okay. Um, and then after you've got your, I do this all the time. After I figured out my spacing on one side, I just do the ticks off onto a piece of paper. So this is when... And then circles, I'll decide whether or not I'm going to do a circle in a circle or not. Of course, I could just do a, a circle in a whole different color scheme, too, to make that point. I don't know. I'll see. There's still tons of stuff we could do. Gets harder after you do the, the lettering, though. I will say that for sure. And then... Um... I'll show you one of the books I'm considering taking to Australia, and you guys can tell me what you think. All right. Get out my handy-dandy pen. This should be dry enough. Um, so now entertain yourself while I do this.
Now I'm going to have to get my pens out. I think I'd rather do it with the other pen. All right, hang on. Got to unpack my travel pens. Where did I put them? I'll try the zero one. All right. See, when I start unpacking after I'm already packed, that's when stuff gets cuckoo. That's why I don't normally pack until the very last day. Because my brain may not register the unpacking. It registered the packing, not the unpacking. All right, went quiet, sorry. Trying to think what I could tell you about the weekend. The weekend, I was busy. I was. I had some stuff that I was making that I needed to finish. Um, so I was busy. But I got everything done that I wanted to get done, so I was happy with my bad self. Why is my pen not wanting to dry now? Did I? Why would you ruin a pen writing on top of ink? That should not have ruined that pen. Alright, it's begrudgingly giving me some ink right now. That should not, maybe I should dry it a little bit more. All right, I'm going to blow it dry real quick because I'm not going to fight with a pen. And I know it's just the dampness of the ink. Or I think it's just the dampness of the ink. My hair actually is in my hair. Always have. Only the weird thing is my nails have gotten um, like ridges in them that I never had. And I hate that. I really hate that. Alright, we'll see if that's enough, but I'm not fighting with a damn pen. I promise you that. <clears throat> it's hard to see my lines. Am I on camera? Now we're talking. Color it in with that one. So what I just did was I'll draw the outline of the letters in the really fine tiny nib, but then I'll um, color it in with the 8 and it'll go really faster. But the 8 won't make the, the fine little lines. But I had never heard people say that as you age, and I'm sure it's age, um, that your nails change. I know like your, your hair may get thinner and stuff like that, but I didn't realize that it started jacking with your nails too.
There's so many great things about getting older that you find out after it's too late. But it's better than the alternative, right? So I'll quit bitching now. All right, I'm going to line the W. I'm going to go ahead and color these in while they're here, and I'll make the connections when I'm done. Need coffee. Uh, so Max leaving. See you, Mac. All right. I hope I'm making the right choice. Yeah, I'm doing it. Left justified. If I don't like it, I can always do another one, you know? No big deal. Of course, at this point, it'd have to be when I get back. Ooh, my hand is so messy. Keratin changes as you age, and hair and nails have keratin, so I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah, I'm sure too, Ange. My hair hasn't, I haven't noticed it in my hair. My hair just keeps growing and growing and growing. My hair's gray. I don't dye it. Um, don't think I ever will, because I'm not that great about the maintenance, so, um, yeah. I don't want to start that nightmare. It doesn't bother me. The gray hair really does not bother me. It is what it is. And it's not the prettiest gray color in the world, but it's not the worst either. Oh, that one doesn't work well. I think I got my first gray hair. Honestly, I remember um, sitting in my office when I worked at Arco. Um, and one of the guys who worked for me, he was a retired military guy. And keep in mind, I was his supervisor and I was about 24. Um, yeah, I was 24. Um, and I was doing his performance review and he reached over and yanked a gray hair out of my head and was like, you are way too young to be going gray. <laughs> it's like, man, Jay, don't do that during your performance review. But yeah, he yanked 
a gray hair out of my head. And that's when I thought, oh my God, now it's noticeable. I had seen them before, though. I knew they were there. So that's when I start going gray. I've been gray really most of my life, I think. Maybe what I ought to do is just buy different wigs. Maybe that's what I should do. See, that's what I feel. I just feel like I earned my grays and the wrinkles too. There's not one wrinkle on here that I promise you I have not earned. You know, I'm just saying my hair is pretty. You you must have seen pictures on my um, Facebook or something when I have it actually fixed. I normally do not curl my hair and fix it. I just pull it back. Slap a cap on. When life gives you And I'm going to do the squares and the circle in all caps so they stand out. I really wish these cameras worked better with light. It sure would be nice if I could actually see what the hell I was doing. Just saying. I'm not watching chat, so if I don't spell something right, you guys can be in there, over there screaming your heads off, and I'm not going to see it. So be patient with me. I'll look over at chat here in a minute. It almost had to be the dampness of the paper that was jacking with the pens, so. <clears throat> so most, a lot of you do color your hair. Oh, to me it just seems like, um, It would just be a maintenance nightmare, and I, I just know me. I, I wouldn't be good about doing the maintenance. I'd do it, and I'd love it when I first did it. It's kind of like getting a haircut. I love it the first day it's done, and then when it starts growing out, it starts pissing me off, and um, then it's like, oh, just let it grow, and that's why I end up with long hair. The lady who used to cut my hair in Texas, I don't think she watches my YouTube videos, but anyway. Oh, I'd make her so mad. Um, because every w winter when I came back down to Texas, she'd be like, oh my God, we've got to cut that hair off. <laughs> and she mentioned not very long ago on my Facebook page, I bet your hair's all grown out again, isn't it? It was like, yep, down the middle of my back. Just not good about that. And then when hair gets in my face, like, ugh. I had it sh real, real short for a while, and I liked it real, real short. Um, 
but as it started going out and my hair grows real, real fast, um, oh my God, it made me crazy, crazy, I'm telling you. So, yeah. Not good for me. Falling in my face and, yep. And I'm not a person who will do like hairspray and stuff like that either. So, partly because I can't stand the smell. So, Eileen, do you color your hair? I am an old hippie, CB. Honestly, I am. And I promise you, if um, recreational marijuana was legal in Oklahoma, I would be smoking it. I promise you. I'm <laughs> just saying, I would. I am an old hippie. Me and Tommy Chong. From Cheech and Chong. Some of you might remember Cheech and Chong. I am really quite surprised that marijuana is legalized anywhere, really. I'm glad they did it, though. Why well, turn people into a bunch of criminals so CB would join me she, you're proud of your gray hair see that I'm, I'm not sure that I'm proud of it I'm just like I'm not jacking with it is really how I am I'm just not jacking with it now I'm trying to decide if I want to do the um, I'll pull you guys down where you can see the lettering a little bit better. I've got to clean it up a little bit so far. I'm okay with this. Um, I'll try and get it straight for you. Um, now I'm trying to decide if I want to do the, the circle lettering like this. There's something real tempting about that. <laughs> or just write out circles. They are selling it in the liquor stores? Where? Who sells it in the liquor stores? Not in Colorado, they don't. They're, they call, it, call them dispensaries. I've been there. And, um, no, you have to go to a, a dispensary to get marijuana if you don't get it from your neighbor. <laughs> you guys are talking about iguanas? The police have to carry blood test strips to test for high people and drunk people. Yeah, see, I don't know how they're policing that. I really don't. But I know that you can, because I've done it, I think it's safer to drive on marijuana. And I, I'm not suggesting it for anybody. But I think it's safer than it is to drive drunk. I don't think it impairs you. I mean, it does slow your response time. I can't argue that. But drunk people are far worse. Oh, okay. You guys are getting legalized marijuana in Canada? Me too, Janet. 
just look for the big green cross flag. No, no lie. They're awesome. I mean, I, and they make it into food like um, suckers and cookies and okay, so your liquor, yeah, I knew your liquor stores were provincial owned. Um, Alright, now I have to decide. I could really jack this up if I screw up the the lettering on circle. Okay, the way to handle that is do it on a a test strip first. Okay, so soon you're going to get medical marijuana. Well, cool on that. Are you going to get um, recreational use marijuana? Yeah, the edibles. Yeah, the edibles are awesome. Alright, we'll just do a little experiment. I like the idea of circle in a circle. I really do. I'm just not sure how to execute. Um, if I was doing this on a machine, it would be easy to execute. Doing it by hand, a whole different deal. So... Oh, okay, yeah, I want the THC. I'm just saying. When was the last time you smoked? It's a whole new animal now. Um, <clears throat> I I'm not sure that I want to go around putting that. Oh, you have it medical down there now, too. Okay, so you've had medical for a while, and now you're getting recreational. Um... I, I will just say, because I don't really care what people think or anything, and I, yeah, I don't have anything here that anybody could um, have a problem with. Um, it's been within the last few months. <laughs> How about that? You have to remember my nephew um, comes and visits me from Colorado. And he, um, he knows a lot about it. OMG. I, I'm okay with it. I really am. Um, I've never seen anybody who, and believe me, I was around a lot of potheads um, in college and after. Until I, I got married and had kids, you know, the kids were around. Um... I never, ever saw one person ever get violent or get in a fight when they were high. Never. Now, we may eat two boxes of Twinkies, but I've never seen a high person get in a fight or pick a fight um, and be a jerk like a drunk. That is the absolute truth. I've never seen it happen. Robert Vaughn has never tried it either. I don't mind telling a story about my mother. My mother, well, my mom and dad both. They were just awesome people. They really were. Um, I'm going to have to change the spacing on this, but this will work. Um, But my brother, I may have told this story before, but oh my God, it was so funny. My brother and I, my older brother and I. Um, wow, that's pretty good. I, I don't think I can make it go all the way around the circle, but I would be okay with that. What do you guys think of that? But anyway, um, my brother and I were um, cleaning the garage. And... Um, there was a coffee can on one of the shelves, and we just threw it away. And um, I don't know how much longer it was, but my mom asked me, she said, what'd you guys do with that coffee can that was on that shelf? And I said, Gary and I threw it away. And she was like, oh, no. And I said, why? What was in it? And she said, the lady down the street, she had kids about the same age as us. In fact, her son was in my class. 
and she said, well, Shirley and I had found some of the older sister's marijuana. And we hid it in that coffee can because when you kids were at school, we were going to try it and see what it was all about. So I was like, ah, ha, 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 ha. I was pissed off because if my brother and I had known it was in there, we would have stolen it from her and smoked it. We would have, I promise you. So I asked mom, I said, well, do you want to try it? And she said, yeah, I want to try it. And so I said, okay, I'll get some. Because remember, I was uber, uber poor. And um, so I got some and it wasn't very much longer. Um, she wanted to. Um, she wanted me to drive her up to Boulder, which is the land in the, of fruits and nuts. Um, and I'll tell you another story. One time when I took my boss to Boulder, that was hysterical too. Um, so we got in my little Volkswagen on the way to Boulder, um, and. I told my little brother, he was sitting in the back, and I was probably in college by now, okay, I wasn't, um, I wasn't real young, and, um, I told my brother, I said, okay, load up a bowl, and so, he loaded up a bowl, and we, um, started getting high with my mother. And every few miles, she'd say, well, I just don't see what you kids see in this. Now, you have to remember, my mother has raised seven, seven kids. There's absolutely nothing in the world at this point that she has not seen. And she was just like, well, I don't even see what you kids see in this. I, it, I don't feel a thing. In about five minutes, she's like, could we stop and get something to drink? My mouth is so dry. It was like, okay. And every time she said, I don't see what you kids see in this. I don't feel a thing. I'd tell Don, load up another bowl. <laughs> we had my mother so wasted. <laughs> she could barely walk. And um, when we got to the Boulder city limits, we had to pass a red robin to get to a friend's house. And when we were, she, you could see the sign for the Red Robin. She said, oh, can we stop and get some Red Robin? I'm starving. <laughs> and at this, in the same breath, she's saying, well, I just don't see what you kids see in this. I don't feel a thing. In the meantime, the music's blaring, which would usually be like, turn that junk off. I'm not kidding. It was so much fun to get mom stoned. And then, um, I don't even remember if it was before or after this, but... I came in the house, my mom, my mom was a teacher, so she not uncommonly had nighttime functions and stuff that she was doing, and I came in one night, and dad was sitting there, and um, he said, you smoke pot, don't you? And I said, yeah. He said, could you get me some? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and he said, I want to try it. I said, okay, so I walked out to my car <laughs> and I got in the glove box <laughs> and I came back in with a little pipe and um, took it in and I said here you go he says oh I don't need your pipe I got one and he had this funny little corn cob pipe with no screen or anything and I said no dad really use mine with the screen and he said, and I think it was after I'd already had that experience with mother because he said, now don't you tell your mother. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, this is hysterical. They both want to try it, but they won't, you know, and I, I know it was. And the reason they asked me, I mean, they probably suspected that my older brother did it, my younger brother did it, that we were all a bunch of potheads. Um, I think the only one they trusted to be completely honest about the whole thing was me. You know, like my dad knew that if he asked me, you smoke dope, don't you? That I would say, yep. Because it's just not something I'm going to lie about, right? And they didn't think it was a horrible thing. You know, if I was failing out of school or anything like that, yeah, we would have had a problem. But I did good in school. Um... 
I did a fair amount of volunteering. I mean, I wasn't just a useless pothead. And I didn't, it was not a gateway drug. I didn't move on to harder drugs. I just smoked a little pot. So, yep, yeah, that's my pot stories. But my dad really cracked me up. You smoke pot, don't you? Yep. And I don't know if my dad ever did it. I really don't. Um, how old was my mother? Well, I was probably in college at that time. So my mother would have been, my mother was 30 when I was born, so mom would have been 48, 50. But I think part of the thing, you know, with my parents was because we had so many kids in my family, um, like, they couldn't go around being all hacked off about stuff all the time because they'd have been hacked off all the time. Because my brothers were idiots. Smart idiots. Like, I mean, we all did good in school. We would never have jacked around and not done well in school. That You want to make my parents mad? Um, that would have made them mad. All right. There's somebody here. Let me holler at the rat and tell him to go out and deal with whoever's here. I think it's the rock guys. Guys are out here. There's a couple of light trucks. The guys about the rocks. They haven't rubbed the doorbell yet, but I think it's them. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Sorry about that. Why do they call it pot? I don't know. I'm sure there's a story about it. Um Oh, now see, when, when we were um, we were kids, most of the marijuana was coming across the border from Mexico. No, my parents were very cool people. And I think they taught us, too, that, um, I don't know, I don't think I would have been afraid to tell them the truth. Um, I would have been more afraid to lie to him and get caught. Because you never knew if they asked you a question like that, did he have evidence? <laughs> like, did he really know the answer already? And he's just setting me up for... Not only to kick my ass for doing what he didn't want me to do, but for lying too. <laughs> so, I didn't lie to him. This is pretty boring. I feel like I want to add something to it, but I don't know what. So. Yeah, this is the walk man. Um, are they just looking it over, or do they have an idea what they're going to do, or what? Well, they're looking it over and talking about it. They're trying to get us a vehicle, or it's going to cost us to do it. Okay. I wish I'd done this when the stencil was still on there, but oh well. All right. Yeah, well, I think the whole harder drug problem, you know, that's a whole different scene. Uh, it really is. Um, now, 
I'm looking for somewhere around here. Shouldn't be hard to find. I should have. I think I'm just going to draw um, circles to connect those two and then erase the circle in the middle. But somewhere around here, I should have a template that has a cool little stent. There's a circle template. All right, I hope I did that a decent spacing so that it does, I didn't goof it up. All right. Now I use I think the 3. Pot derives from the Spanish word for marijuana leaves. Well, there you go. See, you come to my, and I can't pronounce that, but it's Pataguaya would be my guess. And that's why we call marijuana pot. The illicit, illicit fentanyl is becoming a big problem and is coming from shipments in China. Yeah, I've, I've heard different things. Pataguaya. All right. Well, I learned something today, and that's a good thing. Oh, I could tell you tons of stories. Oh, my gosh. From the good old days. Got quiet. I'm not sure if I want to know how much these guys are going to charge to do that rock work. That's for sure. I'm having a patio extended um, where I took that tree out up close to the house. Um, yeah. And it's probably, mm, I don't know, six foot up off the ground. I am, hi Dee Dee, I am, Dee Dee, I am so excited, I am so excited, I can't hardly contain myself, I've been waking up at night just thinking about things, I'm just like, oh, and I know the days are going to go fast, and then what really scares me is I know the trip is going to go fast, and I don't want it to go fast, <clears throat> but yeah, I am very, very excited. And Robert's dreading it. He's like, God, I miss you and you're not even gone. Like, yeah. Do something to get in trouble. You won't miss me so bad. <laughs> what he, okay, here, I'm going to translate that for you. When he says, I'm going to miss you, he's going to miss dinner being on the table at 530. He'll miss me, though. I guess I should have told you how I spaced out that circle lettering, so 
all I did was when I um, copied it off over here, I measured it here to here, here to here, and then dropped it down the same amount of space between the lines. Um, yeah, that's all I did. It wasn't that big a deal, but yeah, I guess I didn't tell you how I figured out that spacing. All right, I like that. I'm happy with that. Let me, um, I, how did, does this camera get so cockeyed? So here it is. Here's the six by six. I like it. I like it. I might want to add something to it. I just don't know what yet. Um, like a tutorial of sorts. <laughs> exactly, Belle. <laughs> You're going to be having so much fun. Time is going to fly and you'll be back in good old USA. Yeah. Um... I don't want it to go too fast, though. I mean, I really want to, you know, like, take time to stop and smell the roses. Like, really enjoy it. And I'm really afraid, you know, that it's going to fly by so fast. And I don't want that. But 20 days is a long time to be away from home for me, for somebody who is, you know, an utter, complete homebody like I am. Um, so, there's that. I'll be ready to come home. I really am. Um, I'm not sure. I might add something to it before I um, post it on the Facebook group. But that's the basics of it anyway. Pretty simple stuff here. You like the way it looks? You're looking down into the other colors? Yeah, I like that too. Starting with pink going down and then this, the bottoms. The bottom is that red squares so yeah I kind of like that um and if I think of something else I want on it I'll just put it on there so let me I'm going to go get a stencil until I decide if there's if I want to do something else with this and I'm going to go ahead and do the molding paste for the um six by six Eileen challenge
All right, you guys, give me just a minute. Um, I got to go out and talk to these guys, so I'm going to um, mute you real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the Eileen challenge is we're going to do two pieces of art, two six by six pieces of art every week. One is the Artful Event challenge, and then Eileen is going to come up with a challenge every week. And last week's, which I have not done yet, was modeling paste. And there's one particular stencil that I wanted to use for this. Um, and flipping through here, I moved the whole box of stencils out here, and I can't find it. And I know what it looks like. I mean, like I have it in my head. I know, I know, I know. It makes me wonder, what did I do with this stuff? Let me look, let me look, let me look. This is where it should be. Oh man, oh man, oh man. And it's a stencil I cut myself, so it's not like it's going to be in its original packaging. I part in the world what I have done with that. Now I'm getting flustered, which means I'll probably flip right by it. I even have artwork with it on it. Oh, I kind of like that one too. Hmm. What would I have done with it? Now this is the one I should use just to bug Eileen. Look at what I have. I have a stencil of rulers. Maybe I will use that one. <laughs> just to bug her. It's not the one I wanted though. And if it's not here, I don't know where in the world it would have gone. Because I'm fairly good about putting my stuff back. I probably have flipped right by it twice. You know, uh, it's not going to be back there, I'm sure. All right, never mind. I I don't know. I'm either not going to do the challenge or I'm trying to think. I might have to cut another one. I really like that idea.
All right, I'm back. We're going to art now. The cat ate it. Yeah, the cat probably hit it. Um, the ruler one? Yes, yeah, see, the ruler one just makes me happy. Use bright pink molding paste just to really tick her off. Oh, you guys are just antagonizing Eileen now. All right, let's just go ahead and use this one. Why not? And I'll I'll continue thinking about the the circle one. And maybe I will um I'll start with like dilution sprays. She's not even around, is she? Eileen, are you around? All right, I'll do some dilution sprays on top. What colors do we want? I like the turquoise a lot. So let me get the turquoise and turquoise and yellow. Maybe the turquoise and light green. She fell asleep. Could be. Okay, here's the spray box. I've never used this one because I got this one at the Hobby Lobby Clarence. You chase the iguana? Oh my god. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just put the 6x6 six six in here, and we're just going to spray it. Oh, my God, Robert's out there talking to those guys about adding on to the garage. I don't really want to do that. All right, and then I've got the yellow out here, so let's add some yellow. Ooh. All right, that made it green. I'll add a little bit of water and let it run. Look at how it beads up on this paper rather than, um, than running. Let me go get a paper. Well, I've got one right here. And I'm working so close with this darn. Camera right in my face. All right, the rest of it, I'm going to spray and let it run. I don't want it real dark though. That's pretty. I'm liking that now. All right, that'll have to do. I'll dry that. Eileen, O-M-G. Yeah, I knew they made green. <laughs> um, yeah, we've gone round and round about um, this garage and extending it for a long time. So, he knows what my requirements are and how I feel about it. Yeah, I like these colors too. I love the dilution spray. I really do.
Now, I'm not sure if he's that smart yet, or that dumb yet, <laughs> Mac. I, yeah, I hope he's not. Yeah, I hope he's smarter than that. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to get out All right, some modeling paste. I almost want to use, since this has a lot of little, um, since the stencil has a lot of little ticks on it, um, Norma actually sent me the glossy dimension in this blue and then the glossy dimension, but I think I'm going to use the dap. Um, and then I have the matte metallic. Um, you know what? Maybe I could colorize this. Let's give that a go. Yeah, let's try that. Why not? Because I've never used this stuff before. <coughs> So I don't really know how it's going to behave or anything like that. And I'm going to colorize it with um, acrylic paint. So, and I don't think it matters if I use the heavy body or the um, craft paint. Because really all I'm wanting is the pigment. So, but I want to use like a navy blue. Here's True Navy. I got True Navy and uh, craft paint, so I'll just use that because it's handy. And I gotta do something with these crazy palettes that sit around. They annoy me. All right, let's do that. Let's colorize the breweries. Get out a palette knife, and I want kind of a big one because, yeah, yeah, I want to use a big one. All right, let me see what the people in chat are su <coughs> suggesting. Use <coughs> the new fin stencil. No, I've got another one. Um, yeah, it, the thing is, he wanted to put up a metal building, and I said no, because um, my idiot neighbor did that, and he thought, oh, well, that means permission that I can do it, and I said no. Whatever you do to alter that garage, because it's in a detached garage, right, has got to maintain the architectural integrity of the entire um, place, you know. And my house is a gray-green barn shaped, and the garage is also a barn shape. Now, I don't care if he adds an L on to it. I don't care what he does as far as that goes. But he's got to maintain um, the architectural integrity, and that's it. I, I'm not giving on that. I'm just not. So there you go. I know, Eileen, I wish you hadn't seen it until I actually was using it. I should have been paying more attention to what I was doing. All right. Wow, that's some stinky stuff. It looks like marshmallow cream, you guys. I want to lick that. And I don't really know how much I'm going to need, so I'll just scrape this off here. This is not as, say, creamy as, and I'm mixing it right here on the, the mat. Now, that probably will be enough because I don't need all that much, right? The acrylic paint hopefully will thin it out a little bit. All right, let's see. I can move the camera over so you can watch while I mix this. Ooh, it's, it feels or sounds sandy. Can you hear, hear that grit as I'm colorizing this? Oh, I want it darker than that for sure. Oh, 
I know I can't do it um, as dark a blue as um, the paint, so... That's right, I can go over it with a with the blue if I don't like this blue. It does remind me of marshmallow cream though, and I love marshmallow cream. Mm. Why are you coloring it now? Because I don't want to have to color it later. <laughs> I mean, I may have to go over it later, but yeah. All right, now I'm not sure what I want, because I'm going to do the whole thing, Eileen. Or maybe I should just do parts of it. Maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll just do parts of it here and there. Do you don't colorize yours before? I know you can do it after, but I was just thinking it would be easier if I just colorized it now. Oh, that's not good. There's like a booger in there. Can you hear that grit? Ugh. I hope it comes. Oh, it came out really good. Look at that, Eileen. Don't you love that? <laughs> I love that. I need to get a baby wipe out so I can clean this off. I don't want it transferring all over the dang place. You never colorize your beforehand? I do. And the one, the stencil that I wish I had been able to find, and I will, I'll, I'll find it. Um, yeah, I would have colorized it beforehand too. <clears throat> All right. Ah, I'm going to make a big mess here. I've never used it, but never have colored it. You like it. It sounds like sandpaper, right? Yeah, it's just gritty for a little while. Um, this The name brand is Bria Reese. It was, um, I think, part of the Hobby Lobby haul, and now I can't remember who sent what. Where's the lid? Um, but it's the Bria Reese Matte Metallic. Um, so it's a texture paste, but you can use it, you know, the same as a modeling paste. Um, but look at how precise that stencil made it. That is some kind of awesome. All right, I'll add it a couple more places. And I'll use different parts of this stencil, so I'm going to have to be careful. Let me dry that, because if I smush it now... I will be so mad at myself. Yeah. Use some magicals in it. I could do that too. We could try that for sure. But I don't have much time left. Jean's on in 40 minutes. Alright, it's dry enough that I could um, do something else on top of it now. Alright. The, um, the grit's a little bit annoying, but not that big a deal. I love that. I think it's cool looking. I'll just do it down here.
And you guys got to remember too that it probably sounds worse because the camera is just like right here. Like right there. Okay. Now I got to go wash the stencil off. I'm going to have this stuff everywhere. Oh my god, that sounds like nails on a blackboard. Okay, when I use this, I will have to mute the sound. Let me go um, wipe this stencil off real, real quick. Because um, I think I'm going to put it one or two more places, but I've got it on the back of the stencil, and I'm going to make a mess. Okay, now that was all my basic idea. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do from here, but the rulers and Eileen make me really, really happy. So if I don't do anything else, I'll be happy. <laughs> Hi, Allie. Eileen's answer to everything is magicals. Are you kidding? I'm not sure what the magicals would do in here, though, because I think you'd end up with just one color because you have to mix it. Um, See that door? It's going up. What is the name of Jean's channel? It is the musical scrapper, but I think there's not an A in scrap or music. Musical scrapper, I'm sure. Jean, put your link in. It's easier. I know you're mu musical scrapper almost everywhere. But, um, yeah, I don't have your channel memorized. I'm kind of like Dee Dee. Okay, now one thing I do want to do, and it's not the end of the world if I don't do it, but it's just me. What's wrong with Jeannie? Are you stranded, Jeannie? I missed what was going on with Jeannie. Thank you, um, Jean. Alright, I think I want to put, okay, the stencil's clean now, so now I want to put it, I'm going to dry it a little bit more, and then I want to put one or two more. I don't like how this stock curls, I will say that. But that's okay, I'll get it flattened. Alright, dry enough. Doesn't come off on my fingers, I'm good. I actually like this blue on this background. You can see it, but it's not just out there in your face. All right, I'm going to do a small amount up here in the corner. Plug your ears. Sorry, I didn't warn you. And I think I want another one in there. 
but I don't have very much stuff left, so it's going to have to be small. And this does dry quick. I will say that. It dries very quick. I'm going to do a small amount right in here because I don't have much of this stuff left. Maybe not even enough to start, frankly. E. Maybe should have left well enough alone, you know. All right, that's going to be it. And just download it from my blog. Okay, I'm going to go throw this. Well, I'm going to wipe it off because I don't want this junk dry into my stencil. Or my knife. Hi, Paula. All right. Let's see. I have to go back and find out what happened to Jeannie. Nothing's wrong. Nope. At home, major snow stuck to get out of parking. Okay, got out. Got two blocks away. Stuck in the intersection. Four hours for a tow truck. Oh, my God, Jeannie. What a hassle. I do not miss snow. I don't miss driving in snow. I don't miss how other people drive in snow. Yeah, that I don't miss even a little bit. All right, now I don't know what I'm going to do with this ruler art. Since this is like a spur of the moment thing, just to have fun with Eileen. Let me dry it real quick. And this is actually a lot richer color than it looks on the screen, but with the window right here, yeah. Oh, I know what I want to do. I've only got about 15 minutes, so. Oh my gosh, how am I something too? That does dry pretty quickly. I think I could crush it if I really pushed on it, but yeah. Actually, Eileen, I could just add Janet rules, but what I really thought was putting on here is happiness is a good ruler, or happiness is a hundred rulers, or something about happiness. Rulers make you happy, right? You haven't left your house since Friday? Well, the only place I went was to breakfast. Just checking back, checking back, checking back. Oh, Paula, I just read back and saw what was going on with you. Oh, Paula. Well, the nice thing about that is your landlord gets to pay for it. <laughs> See, if something like that happens at my house, I have to pay for it. All right. So now I have to decide what I want to do. I, I have somewhere some um, 
ruler. I'm just trying to think what other products I have. I don't have a ruler stamp, believe it or not, that I can think of. But I do have ruler washi tape. Um, and I want to scrape that off. I don't like that. Up here. Oops. Now I have a white spot on my card. It's all right. We can fix that. I'll show you how you fix that. I've had that distress spray that I just used smell like peppermint. You say, where did that smell come from? All right, now I have to just decide how I want to do this. I kind of would like white lettering on it, actually. White lettering is kind of a pain in the neck, but... Um, thinking, 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 you guys. <clears throat> if I want to stamp something on it... I'm trying to think if I had a stamp ruler... And I don't really have any number stamps either, is the crazy thing. I would even do number stamps. Maybe I do in a larger set, but I don't in any of these smaller sets. Hang on, let me look in here. Alright, I do in this small set. Oh, these are fun. Oh, I like this stamp set. Alright. It's kind of big. Let me do some math here real quick. I have ruler washi tape. Yeah. Do ruler in gold. Yeah, I lean. But what I was thinking was, I've got these, um, they're almost like ruler letters. And, but I took off the um, the little tick marks. I cut them off because they annoyed me. Um, but I could stamp it in black and then color it in white. Um, either with um, my regular white pen or with the India ink. Um, but it's got numbers and. It's just that the letters are so big, like happiness... Um, could take up a lot of room like they're half inch so yeah so I got it would be like four and a half inches just for the lettering which that's close but no cigar rulers rule yeah the alphabets don't have numbers well, this one I do have numbers for. And then I have a, do have a smaller set that does have the numbers as well, if I need smaller numbers. so um, So I'm trying to think what I wanted to say. I could just do Janet Rules, because that's funny. It's like a, um, a pun, you know, like it, it's good. <clears throat> thinking you guys just bear with me oh my god my keyboard is totally covered with junk 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 I just looked up ruler quotes. A ruler isn't always straight, but it's um it's talking more about rulers, people who rule the world. Or I like ruler rules. Now that's one that Jean just said. Um, I am the ruler. I am the ruler. There you go, Eileen. 
I am the ruler. I like that. That's what we're doing. All right, let me get an acrylic block stamp out. Do I want to do it? I think I like the idea of white lettering. Um, yep, Eileen, that's it. I am the ruler. Because really... Well, you could take credit for it, but yeah, but I really am the ruler. Um, I think I'm going to do this in black, though. There you go. Clutch your rulers. Yeah. I am the ruler. I think, how did Eileen say it? I am the ruler. Yeah. I am the ruler. Yep. So I'm thinking how I want to put it on here. Try and put it on more straight. I am. I'm just trying to. Maybe I need to get out a ruler. <laughs> I am the ruler. Okay. I got it. I know how I'm going to do it. And I think I'm just going to wing it. Um, I don't want to do it in white pigment ink because that crap takes forever to dry. So I think I'm just going to do it in black. And then I can color it in with a white pen if I want to. Got to get out a ruler. <laughs> I just want a straight line is all I want. I'm not going to measure. Because I'll do, I am the, yeah, this makes me laugh, so that I like that. And then ruler down here. All right. This is great. Great. Don't do it straight. Don't do it straight. Of course. You have to do it straight. Are you insane? It's the only way I can. Um, I did all the rulers crooked, Eileen. Oh, you mean don't do it on a straight line. I see what you're saying is make the the letters all wonky. Okay, I can do that too. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I haven't used this, these alphabets in forever too, so that makes me happy that I'm using supplies. I've never used that Tim Holtz. Oh my god, she really is not the ruler. She is a ruler. <laughs> I'm doing it your way, you big crybaby. I'm not going to do it straight, Eileen. I'm not. I'll make it wonky because that's kind of funny too, right? Right. So it's not really straight. But you know how nervous that makes me, Eileen, when things aren't straight and evenly spaced. I probably never get over this. I have to go to like a therapist because of you. Actually, I told Jeannie last night that I watched, um, I don't watch the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore, but the, I like the reunion sh shows where all those women get on there and really just bitch at each other. I mean, they just are insane. And um, so last night they had the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, so I was watching it. And... Um, what was I saying? About, I was talking about being straight. I don't know. Now I forgot my train of thought. Oh, and I told her, after watch, she said something about me being normal. What, you're normal? And I said, well, after watching these women, like, I am the poster child for 
normal after watching them. I'm not kidding. I could be a therapist. It is going to be crazy because look at it. I am the, and I'm just doing it any which way. I'll never be able to look at this piece of art. It'll make me a nervous wreck. You watch the weirdest shows. Oh, I know. But I just watch that because, um, honestly, there is no better entertainment on TV than the reunions of those shows. Oh, my gosh. These women go insane, you guys. Like, you have never seen women behave like this. I mean, they're calling each other out, calling each other names. It's just like, it is the best hour of entertainment on TV. But as far as watching, like, the weekly shows, I don't watch the weekly shows. I just watch them bitch at each other at the end. This should say I'm the weirdest ruler. Well, that could be true. There. I am the ruler. Outside my comfort zone... And there's no punctuation, so I can't do a... I guess I could use this, and then I'll just draw in the... Um, I mean, I'm going to use the one as the straight line for the... What the heck? Why aren't you sticking, you piece of crap? Um... And I can draw in the little dot for the exclamation point. <clears throat> I think the reunion shows are hysterical too, Jeannie. Only certain ones though. Um, like the Real Housewives of Atlanta that now those girls in Atlanta they know how to throw shade. I am so not kidding you. These, you want to learn how to throw shade, watch that. I'm not kidding you. These women got it down to a fine art. I'm not kidding you. And I don't know how much of it is for the cameras, probably 100% of it, to entertain idiots like me sitting out here in Oklahoma going, man, I wish I had the guts to do that. And I'll do some more stuff in the background, because I actually should do the wording last, but I've only got um, like 15 minutes left, so now I've got to decide how I want to do. Do you want, you still want the ruler in... Um, in gold, because if I'm going to do it in gold, I'm thinking I should do the rest of it in black. Black would be a whole lot easier, I promise you that. Because for gold, I'm going to have to get out the... Um, fine tech, which I'll have to do later. Um, I won't have time to do that during this stream, but I will go ahead and get this darkened. You want it in gold? Okay. We'll do it in gold then. Okay, before we um, take off, though, because Jean's on in 15 minutes, I've been thinking, and I haven't really gone into my um, the bookshelf where I keep all my art books, but I was sitting here thinking the other night that one of the books that I bought that I really 
loved when I bought it, but because of Hobby Lobby hauls and every other dang thing that comes up in life, I have never ever really done anything out of that book. And that disappoints me because when I bought the book, I loved, loved, loved it. So I pulled it out and I'm going to show it to you guys. And I'm thinking, even though it's kind of a big book and a little bit heavy and unwieldy, I'm thinking about taking this book to play with, whether we're in the hotel or in the plane or whatever. And it is kind of a big book, you guys. But I've never done anything out of this book. And I bought this book and I love it. I absolutely love this book. There isn't anything in here that I don't know. And that's the thing that kind of I go, no, no, no. Take something where you're actually going to learn something. But as far as just like copying the lettering or stuff like that, I'm kind of thinking I would like to do the lettering book. What do you guys think? Because it disappoints me that I bought that. You have to give a prompt. Oh, I have to give a prompt? Would you rather have a product prompt or a theme prompt? So I don't know. I'm thinking about taking that. Um, and I'm not going to take a huge amount of paper where I can practice my brush lettering. And I wasn't even going to take any brush lettering pens, frankly. I guess I could take a couple. But it kind of makes me mad because I do buy the books and I like to read them, but I want to do the exercises out of them too. So, um... Anything you want. Okay. Let me think about anything I want. Has anybody said that they're going to do it with us, Eileen, or is it just you and me? Because if it's just you and me, it's going to be Flamingo Feather. <laughs> no, again, that would be so mean of me. Well, Eileen and I are doing six by six prompts. This is actually. Um, this is Eileen's prompt that she gave me. I had to use modeling paste. So I used modeling paste on a ruler. And I'm just doing this. Um, not fine art by any stretch of the imagination. But please do some Zentangle for my eye candy. Yeah, I can take my Zentangle um, pattern. Not the whole notebook, but the little one, I could stick that in my purse easy enough. Alright, I'm going to have to think about a prompt. I'm kind of inclined to give a theme prompt and then anybody can use any products they want. Um... And everything is like a spring prompt right now because it's spring. Okay, Jean's just now getting ready. So we'll head over to Jean's here in about 10 minutes. And I've got to figure out something for dinner tonight. I have done nothing about food. And I may have missed my Amazon deadline because if I don't get the order in today, I don't, I can't think, I just keep thinking I need to order something, but I don't know what. How crazy is that? I'm having Amazon withdrawals and I'm not even gone yet. Yeah, anybody can do it with us. Um... And Eileen just came up with the prompt of modeling paste. Um, and like, um, oh, 
even Rach's this week was a mask. You, you can do it on any subject you want, use any product you want. You just have to use a mask in your artwork. So um, I'm trying to think what would be, what products do we all have that we either neglect? I was glad Eileen picked modeling paste because it's not something I normally get out and play with. Um, however, I do like it. Um, this pen is crapping out on me, and I don't think it's that old. That makes me mad. Um, you're just starting years now? Dilution spray prompt? This one would satisfy that, too, because I use dilutions on it, too. Um, if it's just a few of us um, participating, I would say I agree with that, Jennifer. The only thing is, I like to use something that most of us are going to have. And I don't want to put somebody at a disadvantage or make them go buy something. Um, so maybe I could just use spray inks, because... Yeah, not everybody is going to have the dilutions. And I don't know how many people are actually participating with us. It just... Um, Alright, hang on. I've got a deck of cards here that I made up a long time ago. And it was actually, um, I think, Paula's... One of Paula's um, videos that you know where you had to do you had five minutes to put something that's what the background of these is where you had five minutes to um I believe it or not I just flipped to here and the first thing at the top is use a spray ink But then, of course, like Dee Dee this morning, add pattern paper. So, um, use a piece of corrugate, song lyrics. You know what? Let's do song lyrics. You can do anything you want. You can use any product you want. Um, but it has to have song lyrics. Because that's something we all have in common. We can use song lyrics. So there you go. Somewhere on your piece, you must use song lyrics. Oh my god, I forgot the gold. I can go over it with the gold. The gold will cover that. I'll, go, I'll do the whole thing ruler, but then I'll have to go back with the gold. Because I spaced out, man. My brain, I don't know. Now she's going to accuse me of smoking pot. I can promise you, Oklahoma will be the last state in the Union to legalize recreational marijuana. I promise you that. And that's fine. I'm fine with coffee and water. It will be gold. No. You, you don't have to use any particular product just somewhere in your art, Eileen. You must have... A song lyric. How about that? And anybody else who wants to play, um, I, we're not going to do a list of prompts, okay? If you're around and you hear it, or you can ask somebody, but this is a real informal thing. Just Eileen and I decided we wanted to do one more prompt a week. So this week, your prompt is song lyric. You can use spray inks if you want, Eileen. And probably while Jean is streaming, I will get out the fine tech and go over this with the fine tech. But I've got to get a dip pen out and blah, 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 blah to use the fine tech and do lettering. So. Shake, rattle, and roll for you. There you go, bad girl. Actually, if you did, like, 50s music with a 50s theme, that would be very cool. So, yeah, you can do what you want.
and I, I don't know. I might have more time to art this week than I think, honestly, because I don't have that much left to do. I'm not going to make this house spick and span before I leave. Um, I might have more time. You know, I kept thinking, oh, you're going to be so busy that last week. Really, because I've planned and kind of done things ahead, I, I, well, another thing that I blew off. I was going to um, try and fix Robert some food ahead, so all he had to do was pull meals out of the freezer. And I thought, ah, baloney. <laughs> I ain't doing that. He can figure out how to eat for three weeks. He did it before he met me. So I'm not going to do the meals ahead. I might do a pot of um, unstuffed cabbage for him. But yeah, otherwise, he's going to have to figure out what to eat. He can eat frozen pizza. He can eat frozen lasagna. He can eat whatever he wants. Because um, I'm not going to worry about it. He'll appreciate me a lot when I get back, won't he? He appreciates me now. I don't have to even worry about that. So I don't know. Um, I may be able to get another piece of art done before I leave. This weekend, really, I got a ton done this weekend. I was bound and determined to do it. Alright, so we've got two or three minutes to get over to Jean's. She should have her stuff ready by now. Um, I will go ahead and finish this while Jean streams. And I will post a picture on Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my um, name is at capital J, capital M, capital Y, capital H, capital M, small o. So, um, I don't know what else I'm going to do to finish this. It's by far, it's not close to finished. I will definitely add that. I'll do some more in the background, whether it's stamps or whatever. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and get this done. I might use some more that um, square stamps, or the grid one like I did on this. So this is the one I did first. Um, the prompt for Artful Expressions was a mask, so I used a circle mask. And I like this, and I like that it's plain. It's just real plain. I will do black around the edge for sure, Mac. Um, what art did you make over the weekend? Um, I'll... I, I can't I can't tell you it's a surprise for yeah it's just a surprise so I like this I'm gonna go ahead and sign this if you don't show it didn't do it, you know. Well, I know, but in this case, I'm not going to show it. Um, so there's our simple art for today. We almost got two done. Um, and I will post this on Twitter. So, thank you. Hi, Cindy, and bye, Cindy. I appreciate it, Cindy. Um, I probably will. I might be streaming again before I go, because one, one day I am going to town, but I think that's going to be Wednesday. Um, Thursday, I'm going to shove everything in the bag, and that won't take long. So, yeah, I might have time. I just don't know. Um, so head over to Jeans, and I'll see you guys later. If you've watched on YouTube, thanks so much.